What's up, everybody? We're back with day two of our trip. We're here at Six Flags Over Georgia today. Got my dad, got Mike. We also got Blaine coming to meet up with us. It's gonna be the first time meeting him in person, which is gonna be really cool. And yeah, we're excited to grab some new credits for these guys. I have all the credits here, but they need to grab a few. And then the main goal after that is just gonna be to get a few rides on Goliath and Twisted Cyclone, which are the two best rides of the park. So it should be a fun day. You guys excited? Yes. Oh yeah. All right, let's go get into the park. All right, Mike needs the stand-up credit, so it looks like we're gonna be getting on Georgia Scorcher first. It's a pretty mid ride, but we'll do it for the credit, so let's get on. Uh, probably back. Yeah. All right, let's do it. What do you think? Eh. You hate Vortex, but this isn't as bad, this right? Is way better than Vortex, but Vortex is a piece of garbage. So. And what do you think, Dad? You were saying not bad, but Riddler's is better, right? Yeah, good first, uh, straight down first drop. Which yeah, is bonus, straight drop is great. Yep. Yeah, Riddler's Revenge of Magic Mountain is the best Vortex. Green Lantern is a little bit rough, and Vortex at Carowind sucks, but this ride's good. It's middle of the pack, so. Anyway, now we're gonna meet up with Blaine, and we're gonna see where we're gonna head from there, but he's heading this way right now. All right, we got Blaine here. Woo! It's nice hey, to finally. What's up? Nice to finally get to meet you and we're gonna ride some awesome rides today. So the rest of the park's about to open up in about five minutes. We'll head over that way and see what we can get on. All right, so we were gonna do Daredevil Dive first since it has bad capacity, but it was closed off. We're headed in the Gotham area of the park now too. And we were gonna do Riddler's Mindbender or Batman, but we're not sure if any of the rides are open right now. It looks like Mindbender's closed off too, so. We're just gonna see what they've got up and running. Hopefully they can get their stuff together and we can start getting on some rides, but we'll figure out what we're gonna do. All right, well, I don't know what's going on, but we walked through the Batman queue because it was open, walked all the way to the end of the line, and apparently it is close too, so hopefully we can get some open ride at some point. Pretty annoying though, right? Yes. I mean, at least we got on the stand up, got that out of the way, but you'd hope they'd be able to have the rides open and park opening, and so far, uh, zero out of three back here have been open, so. We're just gonna keep looking until we find something, I suppose. Hopefully they can get their stuff together, I was, I was saying before, but yeah, we're gonna try to find something to ride. All right, so we came to Daredevil Dive because it opened, and now there's a delayed operation, so we still haven't gotten anything after getting on our first ride this morning, so we're hoping it'll get back open. We saw the Schwarzkopf running and Goliath running. We heard Goliath is on one train, and if that's the case, that'll suck, but this ride has horrible capacity, and there's gonna be a long line all day, so we're just gonna try to hopefully wait this out and get on it now, but yeah, it's been an interesting day, to say the least, so far. Just nothing being opening, and then Ladies now and when it finally opens, have your attention, there it is. At this time, we are experiencing a temporary delay in operation. So yeah, hopefully we'll get we this out. Finally got on our first ride. There was a bunch of shenanigans happening with um, Daredevil Dive. Someone got stuck on the lift hill and was just sitting there hanging for a while. But it was a good ride. What do you think? And you've really jogged up the lift too. Like yeah, they, they were taking really forever. Slow, yeah. But what do you think about that ride? Did you enjoy it? It's a good Gersar ride. Right? It's pretty good. I will say there was a couple ejector moments, and that last inversion had some good hang time. So it was pretty fun. But anyway, we're. I think I saw. I know for sure the Sword Shop is open now. I think Batman might be. So we're gonna head back that way. Try to grab those and then keep working our way around the park. But yeah, at least we got on something.
Alright, what did you guys think of Mindbender? It's good. Better than I expected. Better yeah? Scorpion. Yeah. My new favorite shorts cop. Well, I don't know if you guys saw from the footage, but that trim brake is hitting so hard for a second loop. So it's not as good as last time from what I remember, but it is still really fun. Anyway, we're gonna go get Batman now because Mike still needs the credit. You know, it's a clone, so it's nothing too crazy, but it's still a fun and intense ride that packs a bunch. Yeah, seriously. So we're gonna go get on that. That's your first Batman clone, what'd you think? Good. Yeah, people yeah. hate on it because it's clone, but it's an intense ride, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that, honestly, like, it's not Afterburn, but it felt pretty dang similar. Yeah, it's got good pacing. Now, my dad and I, people have ridden a million of these. We've ridden them at different parks. We've ridden them a million times at our home park, but it still hits, right? Always snappy. b and inverts always hit. So anyway, we're going to head more towards the back of the park now. Um, Mike needs to get the kitty credit, and so does my dad. My dad needs Superman, and then after we get all those, we're gonna finish off our time here with um, Twisted Cyclone and Goliath. So yeah, we're gonna head over to, I believe, either Joker or Superman right now. So we'll see you guys over there. All right, so we're here by Joker Funhouse Coaster. We're about to grab that credit, but I've never ridden Monster Mansion. Uh, neither is my dad. Mike, I don't think he wants to come on with us, but I've seen online that it looks pretty freaking great. So we're gonna give it a try. All right, so I'm not gonna spoil anything, but we rode Monster Mansion and pretty good for a Six Flags dark ride, right? Yeah, not bad. I not definitely bad. think you should just go check it out yourself. Don't read anything or watch anything online. It's a fun ride. So anyway, we're gonna get the Kitty Coaster credit now for my dad and Mike, who is over here. So yeah, we're gonna go get on Joker. got off of Joker and that actually had some serious bite to it. That drop, huh? <laughs> that was crazy for a kiddie coaster. My dad's over here saying it's the best kiddie coaster That's ever kiddie coaster I mean, it had some whip, it had some force. I I don't remember that from last time I was here. So when we went over that drop, I was like, whoa, what is that? And the heel looks great too. Smooth. Yeah, it was pretty good. So anyway, heading to Superman next, but that was crazy. All right, just got off Superman. How was that? Great, great. I uh, love the train. It really adds to it. Um, not as good as Tatsu, obviously, but yeah, obviously. second, second uh, runner up, definitely. Yeah, it's a good flying coaster. Uh, it's fun, the pretzel loop's good. The rest of the layout is mostly just turns, but I do agree. In this setting, it works because it hugs the ground. The clones of this ride at Great Adventure and Great America aren't as good because they're just on a flat plot, but this one's great, so. Right. Anyway, we're gonna head to Goliath. We've kind of been like running back and forth around this park in this particular order because Goliath is gonna be Mike's 100th credit. That's why we did it this way. So headed over to Goliath now to ride my favorite BMI Piper. All right, I thought we were going to Goliath next, but we are gonna end up getting one ride on American Scream Machine real quick. Cause the uh, old man likes a good old Woody. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna get on. I don't really want it because I want to save as much time as you can for Air Force because we're gonna be doing fun spot today as well, which that's gonna be in a separate video. Be sure to check that out once it's out. But um, they want to ride it, so I'm not gonna fight it. We'll get on it to walk on. We'll see if it's running better than last time. It wasn't bad last time. It just was a little bit bumpy, but we'll see. So yeah, I'll see you guys after. I get 
Whenever I see a new thing about Blast, that's me confident. So I would say American Scream Machine was good. It was running smoother than last time, but I did get stapled. I didn't really get any airtime on it. Mike says he got some airtime. Uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. It just didn't really do anything special for me. Yeah, what did you think? You enjoyed it, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I think it's a. I think it's a good ride. It just doesn't do anything crazy. So. It's just a classic. It's not like uh, the craziest thing ever. Yeah, and it's not like there's any great forces or anything. It's just a fun little ride. So anyway. Now we're going to Goliath. This time I promise for real, so we're actually going there. So let's do it. Time for credit number 100 for Mike. Let's go. So we just rode Goliath. We got it in the back row. It is on one train, unfortunately. So the weight was stupid, but that's in my top. I think it's my top five. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. We rode Fury yesterday, and I don't know if Blaine agrees because he loves Fury. It's all about the time. But that is that's better than Fury. Fury. That ride is better than Fury. Goliath just shot up. What the heck? Yeah. So last time I rode it, it had some really intense ejector airtime. This time I got about four inches of room in my lap bar. We all did. We didn't get stapled, and every single hill literally pulls you fully out of your seat like you're gonna fly out and then slams you on the positives. The helix gave me airtime. Like you go up into the helix and then into it you get slammed. So you get like lateral airtime. Like what do you say about that? Fury is not that intense either. Like, yeah. It's not as intense as that. That what do you the say about the helix crazy out of just the most ejector airtime basically well of any B and M obviously. Yeah. But, uh, I'd say probably well after El Toro, uh, probably the RMCs, uh, I guess, a certain amount of RMCs. That's just top notch being in number one. Yeah, before it was, I think, my number 10. It's gonna be my top five now. It just shot up my rankings. That's, 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 I like to honestly five. say, like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to think about it a lot because I like it, I like it better than this one. I mean, I don't even know if, if it might be better than El Toro. Like, I don't know. I need to think about it. But what I will say, just every yeah. single, every single airtime hill hits, the first drop hits, and there's not a dead spot on the entire ride. The I, helix is intense. I, I dare say, I, I like it more than Twisted Timbers, I think. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. So I'm not certain about it now, but all I will say is that this ride's gonna rank higher and it is absolutely elite. Like that is the some of the best airtime I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Ejector. So yeah, I'm glad we got to do that. We're gonna now go ride Twisted Cyclone and then that's gonna do it for the video. So we'll see you guys over there. But man, that was an amazing ride. got off twisted cyclone it was good running better than last time yeah. last time it was slow this time i got airtime and i wasn't stapled so is it bad no but is it amazing no it's just good you agree with that uh i think the airtime is really good but it's short 
You it's better than I remember. Um, exactly. Good today, and uh, it's a good, it's a good little RMC. I mean, RMC does not make a bad coaster. It's just, it's yeah. just a short ride. That's my main complaint with it. Exactly. So, yeah, that's gonna wrap up our time here at Six Flags Over Georgia. You guys have fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I had a good time. You know, we dealt with some ride closers and some other stupid crap. Or not closures, but just them taking forever to open. Even this had a little bit of problem. We had to wait about 30 minutes before we get on it. But overall, it was an amazing day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new and want to see more content. I want to hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year. And I would really appreciate it if you could help me reach that goal. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to be on the lookout for our Fun Spot Atlanta vlog coming next. See y'all.